Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today in front of us, we've got the Stigma Lock Breakout set, set number 75927 with 222 parts selling for $29.99 in the States or $39.99 Euro. That makes it a pretty high part to price ratio, one of the highest from the entire line. And what makes this set unique is that it comes with a Dr. Wu minifig from the line, as well as a guard, a pretty standard guard print. And it also comes with a Stigma Lock dinosaur. I hope I'm saying that name right. It's the first of its kind in LEGO, and it's got one of the coolest head molds that I've ever seen. Now, I say that a lot, coolest this I've ever seen, coolest that I've ever seen, but it really is a good head mold. You can very much see where that hardened kind of bone bit of the head sticks out along the forehead where they're used to ramming each other. I have a feeling this is going to have some pretty good breakaway power and the set itself has completely been designed around basically what type of dinosaur this is. The build itself works pretty well. You can pick it up uh, delicately. It's only clipped on by a few clips in certain places, but it retains a decent enough hexagon, decent enough looking shape there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the shape. Um, and in the back we've got a nice little build for a lab. There's some really fun breakaway functions though, and they try a few new things here that I haven't quite seen done before, or sorry, one new thing here, one new breakaway function that I haven't seen done quite in the same style before. Specifically, I'm talking about this corner right here with the lab in the back. It's actually kind of a nice little build for a lab. You can see an egg in an incubator, as well as, uh, well, that's the stigma lock head. It's a little sticker that's put onto a computer screen, a mug. Um, but you can see that this table, this table's got a little bit, it's got a little bit of give. So what that is, let me zoom out. What that is, is the trigger function. The table actually works as the trigger for the window to break out. So that's kind of a two in one. And I really like that because usually the trigger system and any type of breakaway function for a playset is kind of got a big red knob or some something like that and you kind of have to play around with it. But this, it's big enough and kind of just open enough to where they turned the environment itself into the trigger. It's pretty sensitive. The window breaks out very easily, but I just like the fact that the window can be pressed back into its place very, very easily. So you can have fun just kind of hitting it and resetting it with no problems. That's a really, really solid function. And one of my favorite breakaway functions that I've seen for the year. Now it's not the only part of the set that breaks away. You can ram the head of the stigma lot through the cage here and he fits out nice and easily. So he can break away outside this area or if you wanted to actually have him released properly, this area can actually just open up. You kind of have to assume that on this side of the pen, there's probably another bit of fencing and this is the environment for the stigma lot to actually stay in. And that on the other side is sort of the, the rest of the park and the personnel area, and he isn't supposed to be breaking through the back. Now that is essentially it for play functions within the set, but I do wanna just show off some of the other details that we've got here. I like the build for the stacked sort of grates that make up the cage area. This is a sticker showing, of course, that the fence has been electrified. Uh, there's another sticker along this area. By the way, all the detailing that you see are indeed sticker prints and that goes for the walkway. This is the bit of the grip that you see on trucks and other type of uh, um, industry, industry vehicles. And that shows that you can kind of, I guess if you wanted to, you could walk along the fence. <laughs> if you really wanted to, right along the edge, you could tiptoe across. And uh, I kind of like having the guard up here because he's sort of keeping watch with that little tranquilizer gun. So jumping into the minifigs, here is the guard. He's got a decent enough print that makes up the body with the tactical gear. I think the flashing bits of flat silver print that go along the front and back match up pretty well. He's got nice print for the knee pads. The dark blue matches well with the dark gray that makes up the beanie. And the facial print looks pretty good. He's got a beard and mustache, but doesn't look too mean. He kind of looks like just a general serious kind of guard. And he comes with one of those stunning rifles. It's got the injection point that's clipped onto the top. That's a crossover from the last wave of sets. And then unique to this set is Dr. Wu. He's got the little card pass that's clipped onto his jacket. Underneath there is a print that you can tell is kind of like a turtleneck sweater. And they didn't bother to put the belt onto the legs. It's just standard dark gray legs. And also the flesh tone is a little bit darker as well compared to the lighter skin. He's got slightly darker skin 
two pretty good expressions. I like his alternate one where he looks really disgruntled. But the guy who really takes the cake in the set is, of course, the Stigmalot itself. Taking a closer look at some of the details on this guy, I want to say that when you look at the mouth, you can see that there's just a little bit of an extra indent line to show that the mouth itself looks like it can open up a little bit more. That's a really subtle detail that works quite well. And I also like that they gave you the option or that they still allowed a little bit of building onto the guy with these dark tan tooth pieces that stick out of the back of the head for horns. Uh, the whole body can pretty much be taken apart minus the tail. The arms can come off, the head can come off, and of course the legs. And also, yes, you can be replacing some of the pieces from this dinosaur with other pieces of other dinosaurs, but I'll do an entire episode dedicated to that later down the line. The print that makes up all of the splotchy stripes that go along the back and along the tail look great. There is a little bit of dual molding there just along the back area, but it's not mixed up like the pteranodon mold is. And also I would like to point out that the tail is just a little bit rubbery. You can bend it around just like I think all of the tails actually of the dinosaurs from this wave can bend around just a little bit. So in conclusion, taking a look at the set as a whole, I would say that I liked it a little bit more than I thought I was going to in the beginning. I'm not usually the biggest fan of structure sets when I've got an option of getting vehicle sets. I almost always like to get big Jeeps or trucks or tanks or planes or something uh, just because that often structure sets are just kind of like a half open building where this one is a little bit better self-contained. It is an actual cage that is completely contained on both sides and the open area in the back feels pretty natural. I think one of the strongest points is that we have a trigger system, which is part of the environment, that being the lab right here that can break out and break the, the window out as well. So that's a really good function. I hope LEGO takes uh, more build cues like that and uses build designs like that for sets in the future, making the environment part of the destruction trigger. So that's really nice. And uh, the Stigmalot, I still hope I'm saying that name right, I, I think it's one of the better dinosaurs that you can get in this wave. Now, something that detracts from this set, I would say the minifigs themselves aren't particularly exciting. Uh, it is one of the highest part to price ratios compared to any of the other sets in the wave. So there is that, it, it, isn't, it doesn't have a lot of action functions in terms of a vehicle, which I know doesn't count the same way as destruction functions within a set, but usually you can get a lot of play out of a vehicle that rolls around or moves around or something you can swoosh. This set is pretty stationary. So uh, I would say that is probably a detracting point from it, but all in all, um, I thought it was decently strong. I do think it should have been a little bit cheaper, but the destruction functions were better than I expected and the build for the dinosaurs, probably one of the best, once again, uh, out of the entire Jurassic World wave. Oh, hey everybody, hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to pop in really quick and say that we do have a web store, BrickVault.toys, uh, that sell instructions for super high quality mocks uh, that are built by incredibly talented designers. So that is the first link in the description below. And also there's other videos too. We've got other things if you wanna watch that. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time at BrickVault.